this is how it looks in my creative mock-up. And I do kind of like this, but it's still quite tall on the sides, isn't it? It hides that, that outside edge nicely, though. And I feel like we could still do stuff here. Like if I... Where's my stairs? It's like along here over the windows i mean these are garbage but over the windows we could maybe get rid of those and have it drop down you know maybe not even maybe not even stairs maybe we do slabs could do this so then over each window Yeah, it's a little bit more interesting. Stairs might even be be okay. The stairs feel more structural though, like you'd almost want the stairs, you know, kind of like over the the walls. You know, like you'd almost want the stairs to feel more like a structure thing, but you could also do this. Almost looks like a sconce or a weird support. I think the height of the ceiling was in creative world. Uh, yes, you're right. Oh, <laughs> Alistair talking about me disappearing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's really funny. Poor Alistair. Uh-oh. I'm taking some heat from Cosmic Dancer now. Uh, yeah, I do... I think I do want to lower it as much as I like the longer the longer stems on the on the ceiling fans I think I'm going to lower the ceiling and then we'll mess around and do something like that all right well that's decision made when in doubt check your creative world I got two people online now who else is here oh Matt Cass is online again there he is I think he was standing here on purpose. <laughs> nice. Alistair has a sign. <laughs> That's never a good sign. <laughs> I've just been beaten by a sign. I'll take that as a sign. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh I'm gonna know I'm gonna need to go get more uh more trap doors because I have them crafted somewhere uh, and I don't want to have to make more than I need so let's go back and do that yeah thanks underscore funk I think I am going to go with the way that it's done in the creative world um, I do want to do some some log ceilings though. I think part of it is because my log cabin and barn are very, very log like, um, and I've been playing in those since I started the server like a year ago. So that's probably why I want to stay away from that kind of stuff. But wow, talk about slow loading in. There we go. So somewhere here there are or should be thirty four trap doors. We're gonna need a lot more than thirty four, but that's fine. Uh, let's just do a whole ton of dark oak. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say I'm probably going to need two stacks. 41. 57. So that's a stack in a bit, and then maybe I'll just make sure I have enough dark oak logs with me to make more should I need. And I'll have plenty of dark oak logs and stuff. Cool. Uh, flowers we can put away. And I don't need sea lanterns anymore. Nor do I need the dye. Keep the wool. Don't need, don't need cyan wool either. 
Oh, I know. I need to ask uh, Alistair something. Something I meant to talk to you about before. Might not be a good thing for a stream, but remind me to talk to you about something later. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, like a tutor tutor home. I just realized, um, underscore funk, that you've been here, and I've been inside the building. How later is later? I don't know how later later is. Alistair, um, basically, I wanted to hook the pumpkin farm up by my barn to the water stream that we have underneath the meadows now, but I can't do it because it goes through some of your tunnels, and I don't know. I'm not sure what tunnels are what. So it might be just a fun thing to do together on stream. But yeah, uh, underscore funk, this is the outside. So it does sort of have like a Tudor's, you know, kind of like 15th century, 14th century kind of look to it. I like this stuff here, this kind of work. I want to try and maybe emulate that a little bit inside. Might be kind of fun to do. Something that I was thinking about too as, as a fun group build on, on the server would be like a winter wonderland, like a little Christmas town. That might be kind of fun. We we have like some snowy biomes that we could work with. Okay, so if we're going to do this, then I don't think these things have a direction to them. I think they're all pretty straightforward. Like, I don't think it matters which way you face. They're pretty, pretty symmetrical. Yeah, looks like it doesn't really matter. Like these open that way. Which way do these? Oh, they open the same way. Highlights are on the right spot, so that feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, Winter Wonderland would be really fun. Oh, thanks, underscore funk. I'm glad you like it. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. To this, we can take that out. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, let's just do, let's see if this is good enough. Oh. I'm on the edge of reality here. Uh, that, 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 and there. I guess I'm in the way. Um, sweet. Oh, behind the banner. This is tight spacing. Do I have my... No, it's on normal. I thought my field of view might have been screwy. Game of Thrones in April. Yeah, I hear you. I'm looking forward to that myself. I don't know if those, I don't think those are at the right level. So let's just take them down for now. And then we'll finish off the center. I should have done the ceiling before I did uh, all the furniture. That was a mistake. Okay, so we're in the middle here. What height are these at? Oh, I'm gonna lose some detail here if I do this. Hmm. Maybe, 
Maybe we do something different here. I feel like we have to do something a little bit different. Because I don't want to lose the, the cracks and stuff in the chimney. I'll come back to this end and we'll figure it out. That's everything there. Once you see the chocolate, you can't unsee it. Yes, I agree. Cool. <laughs> yes, Alistair, I drowned the no drowning sign. I thought that was amusing. Also, sorry, man, I, I'm trying to keep up with both the Twitch chat and the in-game chat. So if I miss your messages, I apologize. No, what were you doing? No, one player sleep. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, yeah, see, I don't want I don't want to lower the ceiling all the way to the end. Oh, you wanted to set your spawn. Sorry, I will wait for the next the next sleeping. Uh, this next nighttime so that you can set your spawn. Um, so I guess to hide these, we have to have them at that next layer down. So that means I think it's here. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it just it gets complicated down at the end, and I don't exactly know what to do. I guess we can create like a staircase or something that goes up to that. Could be interesting. Or that. That could look kind of cool. Don't really know. All right. Well, we'll sort it out when the time comes. Uh, these can go, I guess I could do these all the way to the end. I think I have to. Sorry, I feel like I'm just staring at the ceiling this whole stream. Yeah, so like I do, I do want to make sure that the height of the chimney stays because if we put all these here, if I could, can I get close enough? I can't. Gosh, everything in, is just just out of reach. It's really annoying. Uh, let's try because that's what it would look like if I just did everything flat and didn't try to do anything fancy. It's okay, but I much prefer to have. Uh, the full height of the chimney. Later, Anagram. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good Sunday yourself. So let's do these here too. Oh man, I keep on, keep on falling down. A lot of trapdoors in this build, man. I think the thing to do is just going to be building some dirt scaffolding here 
and getting going on it. These are really tricky to place too. Yeah, that does look better, doesn't it? Does look better. Uh, I need to make more trapdoors. I had guessed like what, two stacks and I made like a stack and a bit. So 16, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven. So another, another 16 should be fine. We'll get some of these back if I decide to, to make it a little bit more uh, ornamental. Maybe do some dental work or something at the top here. Uh, I need more blocks. Well, why not? I was almost about to put that at the wrong place. Hey, Stephanie, thanks so much for hanging out. Kim says I need to eat. Well, you cannot disobey the Kim. You always have to listen to Kim. When she says eat, you eat. And thank you. What happened above the mountain to the community mine? Alistair, you should go look to see what happened to the mountain above the community mine uh, and then blame Jonathan, but you should check it out. It's very cool. I, I looked at it on stream the other day. Uh, yeah, that's a huge improvement. We need to do something about how this all connects to the chimney. We'll have to sort that out, but I think that that's a big improvement. Uh, what should we do though? Do I have any blocks on the ground here that I'm picking up? What should we do in certain sections? Like I definitely want to do, I feel like these are going to need stairs. So this particular section, I don't know if it's going to be too far to put stairs there. Like I feel like that might be too far down and then have, I need some, I guess I could just use these. I have like a proper, like a full block on top of this. I feel like that's a little bit too straight, but I think maybe if we did a combination of upside down stair, like this, 
and then maybe a slab. And that could work. Right? It's a little bit a little bit more interesting than just a flat roof. It's a little big. It's the only thing. So maybe the thing is maybe the stairs are too much, and maybe what we do is simply just have slabs like that. It's hard to get far enough away to really see. Yeah. So maybe instead of doing these above the supports, we do two low slabs above the windows like that. So then these two would be gone. We replace these as trap doors. And then these would be upside down slabs too. Yeah, I think we're going to try that for the whole side and see what it looks like. So then we take out that one, these two. Oops, that's fine. All right, what do we think about that? Eight police cars just flew down your street. Wow, that's crazy. I've had that happen on a podcast before. I live next to a, a main road. <laughs> Jared, you took my joke. That's right. My joke when that happens on a podcast is always, uh-oh, they found me. Uh, Alistair, you should sleep. Is he still online? Yeah. There we go. Excellent. So what do we think? Do we Do we like the ceiling? We like it. I think it breaks up the ceiling enough. Good. Yeah, I think it's just, it's subtle. I mean, people are not going to be up here anyway. <laughs> this is just the completionist in me. You know, I feel like it's almost a little bit too much. No, you're right. You're right. It does break it up. It's good. Take those two. These two. Grab these two. Oh, it's way up there. These are expensive too. I don't want to leave them behind. <laughs> All right, grab this and Gosh, there are so many things to step on in this build now. So that's another reason I, I don't do anything um, inside builds most of the time is because I don't like cramped spaces in Minecraft. It makes me feel claustrophobic. Grab all the things. Got everything there. So there, that's that side done too. I like it. The ends are good. They don't need anything fancy. Now we just need to figure out how to deal with this chimney. I guess the thing to do is just to put some solid blocks up on the sides. This might end up being a, a good enough solution. It might not be anything too fancy here. So I'm thinking we can probably do something like this. that 
And then for these, not that. Um, maybe the solution is just put in slabs there, there, and then just put these in from the other side. Flip them up. That feels a little bit straight, doesn't it? What about stairs? Stairs could be the other solution. So instead of these, we could just use upside down stairs. Oh, it breaks up the, yeah. It's more gradual, but it breaks up the, the pattern, doesn't it? Hmm. What are our thoughts? Yeah, I know what you mean, Jared. The, the trapdoor crafting stuff is a little bit weird. Um, I can appreciate the fact that it's, I mean, t you could look at it like uh, woodworking where there's going to be some loss, like you're going to be um, losing wood as you carve things, you know, but in terms of wood in and stuff out, trapdoors are, are kind of expensive. I kind of wish you can get four trapdoors. I don't necessarily think you should get eight or six, but four would be nice. Um, Magpie tier, now reverse that at the chimney. Still get a raise, but see the cracked. Did I do it right? Did I did I grasp your idea? I think that's what I try to do. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I can do here either. Like I said, it's one of those things that's probably going to be good enough. Um, there's not much I can do. Sounds like we have a zombie pigman that's come through the portal down below. I've got a, a resource pack that mutes the ambient zombie pigmen pigmen noise, so they're they're less problem. Yeah, that's fine. You don't really notice it too much. Um, these are a little distracting, but that's fine. If anything, I'd have to do a lot more work and maybe raise the entire roof. Like have the whole thing just stop, but I don't want to do that. This is feeling a little bit plain, but it's not bad. I kind of just want, I feel like there should be more up here, but maybe I'm just being a little bit, a little bit too picky. But I think it's time to move on from this today though. I think we've spent enough time in here. Uh, we can also uh, put some stuff back, load up our, shulker boxes and stuff. I think I also need to put some item frames away. Brown wool. Whoops. So that's it for this. Take back this too. Excellent. So now that the inside is done, the inn on the bridge is finally complete. And I don't feel guilty <laughs> for leaving the inside completely uh, unfinished. Oh, there he is. Let's just get rid of you. <laughs> no, it wasn't normal. For we I just feel really closed today for some something thanks man really appreciate that oh i guess you haven't been on in a while <laughs> he's probably not talking to me he's probably talking about the server in general <laughs> i mean I guess some of this the inn and the bridge and the path and stuff is all is all uh is helping me thanks jared i really appreciate it uh what can we do with gems uh Matt Cass, right now they're just decorative uh, so there's not a whole lot you can actually do with them. 
the other thing is um, you can trade them with the setup that Exumavoid did when he, they wrote the uh, data pack with villagers and you can get player heads I think or other heads like different hard to get mob heads in the game but I just thought that would be fun if anybody ever wanted to build a treasure room or if they wanted to have some gems around just having that that custom model colored kind of box thing uh, is kind of cool Oh, I see what you mean, Magpie. Yeah, I think that's what I had going on. I used I used stairs instead of slabs, but same idea. Well, oh, thanks, Matcast. I appreciate it. Uh, we need to get rid of some stuff here. So it was a long time ago, Matcast, when you threw the coordinates for the um, the Mesa idea, your your Western build in the Mesa. So. Can you toss those coordinates in again in the uh, in the Twitch chat? And I will grab some speed potions and go and check those out. Be kind of fun to just kind of chill and run and hang out with the chat room for a little bit. Give myself a little bit of a break. Uh, I feel like maybe I didn't put. Oh yeah, definitely wanted to make sure that those goes in the right right choker box. <laughs> so Alistair is starving to death. You need to take some pointers from Kim, my friend. Nine, minus 300, minus 3,000-ish. So really, it's in line with the meadows because we're at minus 300 now. So it's kind of on the north-south axis, but it would be uh, 3,000 blocks in that direction. Uh, that's easy to do. We'll just... Uh, Go into the the server potion room and grab some speed potions and go. Oh, 3,200 blocks. Okay. Cool. Another zombie pigman. Oh, I don't want to shoot him and have him go through the portal and get the other ones mad. So let's just leave him alone. <laughs> 